क्वेश्चन इज विच वन ऑफ दीज वर्कर बाज नॉट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एनी ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीब्यूशन टू मेडिकल माइक्रोबोलॉजी डिस्कवरी ऑफ लाइसोजैन डिस्कवरी ऑफ स्पेसिफिक बैटरियोलाइसिस बाई इम्यून सेरा डिस्कवरी ऑफ स्टेप्टोमाइशन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्पेसिफिक सैरोडायग्नोसिस ऑफ इन्फेक्शन ऑप्शन इज फ्लैमिंग बी पास्चर सी क्रीफर डी वाक्समैन ई वाइटल ऑप्शन बी इज राइट पास्चर आल द फास्चर हैज बीन कार्ड द फादर ऑफ माइक्रोबोलॉजी He did not make any of the discovery listed. Fleming discovered lysosome in animal tissue and secretion and later of coarse Spanish lean. Fieber demonstrated that cholera vasily lysed when injected into the peritoneal cavity of an immune guinea pig due to combined action of antibody plus complement. Waxman discovered streptomycin which revolutionized the treatment of tuberculosis vidal introduced his serological test based upon tube agglutination of non strain of salmonella by the patient serum so option b is right next question is which one of these workers was not responsible for any of the following contribution to medical microbiology first epidemiological study of cholera Roles of attributing etiological role of bacteria and disease, introduction of prophylactic immunization, and epidemiology and prevention of pure parallel sepsis. Option is F. Jenner. Jenner. Option G. Koch. Option H. Meknikov. Option J. Samuelis. Option K. Schnow. Option H. Is right. Meknikov. Is right answer. Meknikov was responsible for the concept of cellular immunity. Zener observing that milkmaid working with cows infected with cowpox were resistant to smallpox, introduced artificial active immunization with cowpox games. Koch introduced solid media, pure culture play technique, elucidated the nature of tuberculosis, and formulated Koch postulate. Samuel Bees recognized indirect spread of streptococcal puerperal fever from cadaver to patient on the hand of attendant. Snow traced a local epidemic of cholera to the bore to the Broad Street pump in London and determined the epidemic by removing the pump handle. So option H making of his right answer. Next question is who proposed the clonal selection theory of acquired immunity? Who proposed the clonal selection theory of acquired immunity? Option L is right. Burnett. Burnett proposed the clonal selection theory of acquired immunity. The theory claims that antibody-producing cell exists as a mixed population capable of forming antibody against the complete spectrum of antigenic configuration. But that each cell can synthesize antibody of only one specificity. Exposure of this mixed population of an antigen stimulates multiplication of cell which produce antibody closely corresponding to the particular antigen. This results the emergence of a family of genetically identical cell, a clone, which produce antibody of high specificity. For the antigen which elicited the response, Ehrlich proposed the side chain theory of antibody formation and introduced acid-fast staining, arsenical chemotherapy of syphilis, and method of toxins, antitoxin standardization. Jarne proposed a natural selection theory of antibody formation. Merrick proposed the lattice theory of antigen antibody aggression. Medawar proved the immunological basis. of aircraft rejection